Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be talking about The Mandalorian Season 1. So I did a podcast on the rise of Skywalker. Very disappointed. However, there is some hope. The Mandalorian Season 1 is really good. This will be no spoilers, no major reveals. Just... Just my thoughts and feelings on the first season in general. So I think the showrunner is John Favreau. He has given credit as a writer. I'm not sure if he's directed any episodes. But Dave Filoni is also a writer. Some of the directors are pretty interesting. Dave Filoni, very important in the animated universe. Taika Watiti, who did Thor Ragnarok and Jojo Rabbit. Bryce Dallas Howard. And it stars Pedro Pascal. And who would have thought no hardly any dialogue and a helmet on when you never see his face would be interesting. And it is. I have fun. Maybe I'm a little nitpicky about how short the episodes are. For the most part. But it has a good feel. It carries you along well. You're interested in the side characters. They don't overdo it here and there. I do have nitpicks. It's not perfect. It's not the best thing ever. But it's so enjoyable. And that's what's going to matter. If you enjoy it. You have fun with it. There's no... Uh, real ties to the world that they seem to be ruining for me. I don't get the feeling of them shitting on my childhood or uh, a general disrespect to characters. And it's set, I think I did a podcast on episode one, the pilot. Enjoyed it. Was a little surprised about the um, shortness of the episode. Had a couple of things about the music, but They seem to not bother me anymore. Either they changed things or I got used to it. I started getting into some of the themes, the music they were using. Now, there is some things I do nitpick with. It's hard to suspend disbelief here and there. But it does have a good feel. It kind of reminds you of an 80s action show. It's got uh, a good balance of humor, action, and I think as a whole, my biggest nitpick would be the shortness of the episodes, and I think I'm getting used to binge-watching. So, for me, personally, I would think I would enjoy if it was released all at once, where I could determine I could watch one or two episodes at a time. I see things like this maybe better for advertising and ratings, more buzz. So I could see people would talk about it longer and it would be drawn out where you can get more talk about it. Well, I understand it. But when you're busy and your life is a little hectic and you want to get these periods of time and put them into chunks, I find myself waiting until it's over. Staying away from the talk and the uh, banter about the show week to week. Because I want to wait for it to be over and watch it in bulks, when in chunks when I can. But there's no real cons. I mean, the show is fun. I like the elements, the scenery. It's shot well. It draws you in. I get a good feeling from watching it, laugh. Um, they don't go too dark, and of course, everybody's got to talk about the baby Yoda, if that's a spoiler, I'm sorry, but what a genius advertisement and product, 
type thing. It's all over the place. It's everywhere. It's memes. And I don't know what they're really going to do with that aspect of it. Um, I like where it's going. I like where season two is hinting at. I did have a issue with the first episode when it starts and you start to see this mercenary. I think they mixed up the mood for the first episode where I would have maybe liked to have seen that side of him for more than one episode and then change and become more caring and more sympathetic. But that's a nitpick. It's a fun show. It'll get you into the genre. And I'm kind of turned off from Star Wars. I never went back and watched the last season, last half of the season of Rebels. I don't really get interested in the comic books or any of the books anymore, the novels. I was such so disappointed in the movies that I went into this with an open mind and was so happy with the end result. Besides my nitpicks in the beginning and my little worries, I do that just to emphasize some of the things that I could see me not agreeing with. And I say it again, if you do it well, I'm probably going to buy it. I'm probably going to suspend the disbelief enough and just ride it out and have fun. And I think it's got real good reviews it's got a good buzz around it so i'm happy i don't want star wars to suck i don't want to not be interested in a big part of my childhood a big part of my personality and being a nerd and science geek it's just good to see a good product coming out now i like the animation shows and i was into rebels uh it was just timing and going back And I could see them doing tie-ins where how this is set in a certain time, certain movies, so you know what shows come before, let's say animated shows, what leads into The Mandalorian or some movies, and then what does come after, we kind of know. So it's interesting how they're going to fit it in. Will they do cameos where you see certain people show up? It could be interesting. However, the show doesn't have to drawing that so much it's expanding everything it's giving us a good feel and there are times where you look at things and go okay you know this is maybe a little overdone here and there but it's not enough to make you even roll your eyes it's just there's too much fun to be had the acting is good and you got a character who doesn't say much you've got a a helmet that covers him and Every time it has to do with Mandalorians, it's obviously they have a code, so they don't take their helmets off. I guess uh, I co- I think of Judge Dredd for some reason. Good show. I recommend watching it. I don't think anybody will be disappointed. Some people might find it a little too lighthearted or a little too unbelievable at parts, but It works for me, and it's definitely a highly recommended show. So everybody, watch The Mandalorian Season 1. Let me know what you think. I'll see everybody next time.